Hi, I'm Dr. Young Cho. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon. I'm very excited to share with you today more information and education on semiglutide and trizipatide, which are the newer drugs that come on the marketplace to help manage symptoms like diabetes or conditions like diabetes and for weight management. On a personal note, I've also been on my own journey over the last many years. And about seven, eight years ago, I noticed that my weight just kept creeping up. And I actually decided to learn a whole lot more about obesity medicine. And with my wife, my Melissa Chang, we went to an obesity management conference, was so intrigued by the science and what was going on at that time. And today we're excited to share with you some of the newer innovations that have come on the marketplace that many of you may have already heard of through some of the brand names, Wagovi, Ozempic, Manjaro, and the generic names are semiglutide and terzipatide. In this video, we're gonna go over the background of how semiglutide and terzipatide works, some of the contraindications, who's a candidate, so stay tuned as we explore this topic in more detail. Let's start by talking a little bit more detail of what is semiglutide and terzipatide. Semiglutide is a GLP-1 receptor agonist, and in short, what that means is that it helps the body to promote a little bit more insulin in response to eating food, send signals to the brain that we're getting a little bit fuller, and it has impacts of things like delayed gastric emptying or just where the contents are not moving through the digestive system as quickly as we want, and therefore, again, sending signals to the brain that, hey, maybe we're a little fuller with a little less intake. Trizipatide differs from semiglutide in that it has a second additional mode of action, which mimics GIP, which is another hormone that also stimulates insulin and again signals to the brain that we are getting a little fuller. So together, both modes of action really helps to further enhance the potential impact on things like diabetes, as well as weight management. So today there are many different options for weight management. A lot of us are on, on our own personal journeys and the crux of it includes things like dieting and exercising. But many of us go on these journeys where we might be going through little yo-yos where we try different diets, we try different exercise regimens, and those that are successful make changes that are more sustainable. Those that may be less successful, maybe try to do things that just are not something that they can sustain for the long term. This is where some of the pharmacologic medications come in to help us to maybe give us that extra little boost that we need, but they have to be coupled with good sustainable lifestyle changes. So patients who are candidates for things like semiglutide and trizipatide are going to be those who want to lose weight who are willing to make in make some additional lifestyle changes beyond just taking a pill or beyond just taking an injection. And those lifestyle changes is what's going to help determine whether the changes or the weight changes that you experience can be sustained over an extended period of time. So just as important to figure out, am I a candidate for semiglutide or tazipatide? We also want to identify those patients that are not good candidates for this. So if you have a history of medullary thyroid cancer or MEN syndrome, which is one of those endocrine syndromes, you probably want to shy away from embarking on this journey using these two mode of actions. And lastly, if you have a sensitivity to either of the medications, then for obvious reasons, you should not be taking it. And that you may not experience until once you try taking the medication. Now let's go over some of the potential side effects of semiglutide and terzipatide. Because you're going to have delayed gastric emptying, you may have symptoms of nausea and vomiting. You can also get constipation. Some will also experience diarrhea. And some just may not feel so good after taking these medications. It can be dose dependent. So you're going to work with us to find the right dosing for you to get some of the benefits that you're doing while trying to manage or downplay some of the side effects that you may have. We may also be working with you to modify some of the lifestyle changes that you're making to see if we can further minimize the impact of these side effects. 
products. Should you be considering taking semiglutide or trizipatide if you're planning to get pregnant or if you are pregnant? And the general answer is no. These aren't medications that are being studied during pregnancy. And during pregnancy, you're going to be wanting to absorb as much nutrients and potentially calories as well. You still have to maintain a healthy lifestyle, but I would say discontinue if you are planning or do not start and initiate these medications if you are pregnant. Can semiglutide be used in combination with surgery, particularly plastic surgery or body contouring surgery? In general, what I would say is in order to consider a, yourself a candidate for body contouring surgery, we want to make sure that your weight is at a relatively stable stage. So if you are on this weight journey and you're losing weight and you're considering a procedure like a tummy tuck or liposuction or a breast procedure, those parts of the body will continue to change as you continue on your weight journey. So they can be a powerful adjunct to help you reach your goal weights, but you may want to wait till you get there before you embark on your procedures. So let's talk about dosing. When you start with us on either semiglutide or trizipatide, we're typically going to start you on the lower doses. There may be a baseline dose that we start off with, but if you end up with having a very sensitive reactions to it or side effects such as nausea and vomiting, we may even cut that down a little further. You want to make sure that you're able to tolerate whatever initiating doses that we're starting and then we may gradually ratchet this up and so that we can enhance the impact that you might receive by being on these medications. Typically you might be on a dose regimen for about a month and the next time we're going to start to slowly increase it or maintain it and part of that decision making is going to be how you respond and how sensitive you are to those medications. If we're getting a good desirable response maybe we'll hold it. If we're not getting quite the response we're wanting and your symptoms are tolerating, you're tolerating the symptoms from the medications, that's where we might start to ratchet things up. So typically it may take several months to get to your ideal dosing. And as you get closer to your weight goals, we may again start tapering things down to see what we can do to help maintain the weight loss that you've achieved, but at the same time, minimizing the pharmacologic support that we're providing for you. Does exercise, terzipatide, and semiglutide, do they go hand in hand? And the answer is absolutely. You want to be making sustainable lifestyle choices. You already have a good exercise regimen and you're not quite getting where you want to with your weight goals. That's where terzipatide or semiglutide may help. And you don't want to stop exercising because you feel like you've got this other crutch that you might be leaning on to help you shed those pounds. The other important component is when you lose weight, you start to consume not only and burn off some of your fat, you may also be at risk of burning some of your muscle. Having a high protein intake in your diet and coupling that with exercise to help maintain and build muscle is going to be very important for you to Go on your weight loss journey in a very healthy and balanced fashion. So great question is how long do I need to be on semiglutide or trizipatide? Well, a lot of that depends on what your weight management goals are. You do want to work towards making sure that your lifestyle is healthy and balanced and sustainable. And depending on how much of a delta there is between where you are starting from and where you want to go, you may be on the medication for maybe six months, could be nine months, uh, could be even a year until you reach your goal. At the same time, once you reach your goal, we may try to wean yourself down to a lower dose and maybe even wean yourself off of it if your lifestyle can help you maintain that. But very commonly you might be using a lower dose to maintain, whether it's by decreasing the actual dosage or maybe even decreasing the frequency in which you take the medications as well. It may be anywhere from six months to upwards of a year, plus a little bit more brainstorming as to what we can do to help maintain your goals and success. 
Trahatosemiglutide and terzipatide compared to medications like Wagovi, Ozempic, Manjaro, and others. Typically, what I would say is these medications are the generic names for the active ingredients in those branded medications. More commonly, we're finding that those branded medications are in limited supply and there's a very hefty cost associated with them. So the use of compounding medications has been increasing quite a bit partly because they offer a more affordable option with the similar benefits as the branded names. So semiglutide and terzipatide, you find a good compounding pharmacy to help partner with us in your weight loss journey. So if you have any more questions pertaining to this topic, please don't hesitate to leave comments below and we can certainly consider that as we're creating more educational content for you. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell to stay informed about some of our future events and educational sessions. Thank you for joining us on this transformative journey, learning about semiglutide and terzipatide. We look forward to seeing you in our next video. Thank you.